Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Node.js uh, using the SQLize ORM to create a project. If you're anything like me, you are so, so over uh, user authentication at this point. <laughs> but this is the last video that we will do that talks about authentication and um, access for a long time, hopefully. After this video, we'll really get into the meat of just creating the project funda like inside its guts so now that we can log a user in and now that we can block api routes based on who that user is the next thing that we will want to do is log a user out so that we can actually say this person you know if i go to click a log out button i can actually be logged out uh, how do we do that so we're going to go to app.js and the reason that I do this in app.js is because I want access to this session store. Um, this is really the only route I've ever put in app.js in different projects. So we want to do it right after the application gateways. Um, so let's write a quick comment. I'm sorry if I sound a little tired. I'm kind of, I'm running on fumes here at this point, you guys. I think I've been doing this now for like five hours and my brain is just like, stop, go outside. But uh, let's see here. So log out, route. All right, so this is gonna be like any other route that we would create, meaning that we'll say app dot in this case, we'll say get. So we're not going to do a use. Uh, we're just going to actually use the get method. And because it is a, uh, we're just going to be clicking on a button and it's basically going to log us out. Uh, we don't need to do like post or put or anything. So app.get backslash logout or forward slash logout. Sorry. Oh, let's do a string here. Forward slash logout. Oh God, stop, stop now. Okay, let it replay. So forward slash log out. All right, and then we have, this is gonna annoy the crap out of me. All right, so you're going to stop. Hasta la vista for now. All right, so forward slash log out, and then let's add our rec resin next, so rec, res next because we're remember we're calling this like any other um route so but the only reason we're doing it in app.js is because we want that session store because obviously if someone logs out we want to destroy their session so the first thing we want to do is write session store dot destroy Oop, not default, destroy. All right, and then this takes in a session ID and a callback. So the session ID can be accessed by rec.session ID. And we're going to give it a callback, which is going to take in an error function. And if so, we're going to console.log said error. Okay, when we're done with that, we want to call rec.session.destroy just like we do in our um, auth route. So we call rec.session.destroy and guess what else we're going to need to call? rec.logout. So we'll call rec.log out and then also just like we do here we want to call res dot clear cookies and just to make sure that this all matches up let's actually move this to higher up so that it just mat I want it to equal the same thing that that does so then right here we'll call res dot clear cookies connect dot sid and finally, let's say res.status 200.json message 
user logged out. And boom. We are good to go. Now technically destroy does take a function as a callback. We're just not going to use it. Um, yeah, we're just not going to use it. So you could use it. It, the, it takes a callback function. The first argument of that callback function, I believe, is the it's an error. So it's an error first callback. Um, but like I said, I'm not going to use it in here. So why am I being used? Expression statement is not an assignment or call. Oh, yeah. Log out. <laughs> okay. So we actually don't need to call next because we shouldn't be forwarding you to anything. Um, we are good to go. So we'll just return this. That way nothing else gets used. So return. Return. All right. So return res.status. All right. So now we have our logout. If I restart the server, And we hit play. All right, so now if I go into Insomnia uh, in cookies, I should have a cookie here. Yep. Okay, so now if I create a new request, that's interesting. So we'll create a new request and we'll call this logout. It's going to be a get, we'll say localhost colon 3000 and log out. Okay, go ahead and send this. And I get a message back that says I was logged out. So now if I look at my cookies, I still have this cookie. That's interesting. Or do I have this cookie? Is this an actual cookie that I have? I wonder because it looks like expires. It no longer has a connect SID. So I'm pretty sure I no longer have this cookie. Let's try and log in as a student, log in as an admin and see what that cookie looks like. So now if I look at my cookies, all right, yep. Now, if I look at my cookies, I have it. I have a connect SID. Okay. If I log out, control, log out, look at the cookies. I don't know why it persists here. This is interesting. Um, but we do see that the SID has been cleared. The cookie is essentially dead. So we have officially logged out. All right, we're good to go. This is, we are done with user authentication. We are done with user access. This video was only 10 minutes long. Woo woo. Considering that the rest of them were like a million years long. All right. I will see you guys in the next video where we can actually get back to creating our project and looking over a lot of SQLize stuff. Bye. You said that you needed